Well, we're back. <laughs> Very exciting times, kids. Very exciting times. <laughs> this is something that uh, I probably don't need. Got it anyways. Ultra high quality. Ooh, replaceable heads. That's interesting. Let me check. Oh, look at that. That's nice. That's nice. Some dies. Punch set. Lifetime supply of grommets. Wish they were in Ziploc bags, but they're not. All right, so what do I got here? So this was advertised as a grommet installing machine, but since then I think I've learned you can get different. So that's, that's threaded there. It's a little grimy. Let me see if I got here to rub that off real quick. Uh, you can get different die sets, I think, and you can do all sorts. You can do. So uh, allegedly, I mean, there's all different kinds of versions of these. You can do buttons. You can do. Uh, rivets, you can do cups and grommets. Um, put this thing together. This, I think this is aluminum. This one I think is aluminum. Let's see, let's try to find a bag. Oh, yeah. No, that's. I mean, that's a magnet. So this is either like super high quality stainless steel or it's aluminum. So like, I don't know, is aluminum better or worse? Uh, it's a space age product. <laughs> put, your, uh, put your thinking cap on there, Ellis. Find the hole. There you go. Put your nut back on. I paid less than 50 for this, 40 something. Right, that action is pretty good. Gotta stop. Uh, let's do a, let's do a, a size. I feel like I'm gonna get more use out of these big ones. I was kind of hoping to be a little bigger, but uh, all I'm probably gonna do is like put the rope and uh, these bigger. Let's do a small ones. Let's do a small one. See how it works. I'm hoping that these that like so. Anyways, this diameter here. And that thread pitch is all that determines whether or not you can uh, use different dies. And I don't know if the die, like, I don't know that much about this stuff. I don't know if the dies are proprietary to the manufacturers. So this is obviously a small die, so it's going to be a small number. They're calling it a, a 400 hashtag. Let's take a look at them, see if they're any decent. I believe it's something kind of like that. That looks, oh, it's spring-loaded. It looks a little crooked. I don't know how important that is. So that goes, oh, I got a set screw here. That's just a Phillips. I got a Phillips right here, oh, please. I don't know if the set screw is super important. It's probably just like, you know, it's not a feature. Oh, that's going to be pretty clutch. Getting that so it threads in good. Feels like there's cutting oil from cutting a thread pitch. I might have to take one of these down to the local hardware store to figure out what the thread pitch actually is. Because so far with the Timo stuff, this is what I've learned. Pay attention to the size of stuff because, like, I just made some rash assumptions, you know, rash, rash assumptions on sizes and it's not just this project it's, it's, it's another product that i bought it was like oh that's gonna work great and then like you know it's not that they're lying it's just i'm i'm not paying that much attention i'm just like oh that's gonna be great you know what i should do i should probably open the instructions because i don't really know how to use this thing i'm just gonna punch a hole and saw one using like a piece of plastic or something here we go instructions a your b Tells you the size, 1.1 centimeters, 0.9 centimeters, and 0.5 centimeters. 
punching procedure. Oh, that's interesting. They're claiming it'll punch its own hole. Well, they sent me punches. I, was, I paid a couple extra dollars for this kit because it came with punches. Okay. So the way this works is... Oh, God. Are you losing parts? The, uh... <laughs> this is a great video. That part goes up. Allegedly. Here goes there. This part's supposed to go on the top. I don't know which direction that goes. Probably. Does it say? Unscrew the bottom, put the bottom. Fabric at the washer. The washer's looking kind of universal. Is that magnetic? Definitely doesn't hold up top, so that sucks. Let's find something to punch. What do we got? Let's punch a hole. Let's try this plastic first. Let's see if we can make sure I'm loading this thing right. That went up, that went down. The thing goes up. Will it punch a hole? Let's just. It kind of punched a hole on its own. Oh, yeah, it punched a hole. I didn't have the I didn't have the upper part on yet, so I think I might have I think I might have screwed this up already. I think I might have pressed down too hard. Yeah, I, did. I gotta have that thing ready to go. I dimpled it. Luckily, I've got not quite an unlimited supply forever and ever of this uh, kit and stuff. How do you get that to stay on the upper part? That's what I was. Punch it. Oh, please. Oh, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> just like that. I just put a grommet in. <laughs> that was even hard. I mean, the hardest part was like, like, how could I do that? Can I add a magnet to this thing? I need, I need to magnetize this thing somehow. What would I do? Oh, use your brain. Could, could I could I put a magnet right there? Are these, are these, these should be magnetic, Ferris. Yeah, so let's try that. If I stick a magnet on the side. Yeah, that's problem solved there. So I'm just going to put a small magnet on the side of that thing. That's the action. Oh, it's so crazy. Like, this is a thing where it's like, I was a little leery because it's like, I mean, it's like 40, what, 45 bucks? We'll just say 45 just for conversation's sake. I was like, all right, 45 bucks. No, I mean... I'm not a millionaire, so like 45 bucks, I do have to take that into consideration in my budget. Back that thing out. But if I if, if it was like garbage and I lost 45 bucks, it's not like I'm gonna like, they're not gonna come like uh, take my car away from me or anything. But like, you know, I don't like to waste 45 bucks, but when I was looking at the prices of these things, like back in the good old days, a tool like that was in the hundreds. Cast iron, it's got holes, you can mount it. Like, there's not really much to wear out on this thing. Like, I don't know what you would break, just the dies. So that's, like, going to be the big thing, is the dies. I mean, these punches, I guess if you've got really hard material, you can punch the hole for it first. Let's look and see the quality of those are. I mean, this is, like, a 10-minute video about a grommet machine. But, see, I, I was like, oh, grommet machine, fine. And then, there's not a lot of information on, quote-unquote, grommet machines, but there's a lot of information on button-installing machines and rivet machines. And they make... You know, you can get one of these hammer them on. Hammer, hammer, hammer. You can get the hands, the hand pincher ones. So yeah, that's just the hole punch. Just standard hole punch. I mean, you can do all sorts of fun stuff with those. I don't know. I, lots of times in my life, I've been like uh, fighting with a tarp. I'm like, dude, if I could just have one, if I had a grommet six inches over here, this would be so much easier. It's like, problem solved. Like, ding dong, ding dong. I'm a little grommet machine now. Like, I don't know what this is for. You're supposed to like, maybe you're supposed to tap that with a hammer up for it. I don't know, give me a hammer. <laughs> like whatever. I can't remember how many this is. It's like 400. I think it's 400 each. 1,200 extra. I gotta find something to put them in though. <laughs> I gotta have like, you spill that and the game's over. All right, 10 minutes. 
Uh, I'm saying absolute awesome. This thing is impressive. I didn't see any casting errors. The paint's good. The quality is on par with anything I could ever hope for in, a, in an item like this. Like, I just don't know what else you would... The only thing, the only caveat would be if that thread pitch and that diameter is one-of-a-kind unicorn stuff, and I'm stuck with these dies. I mean, I don't know if I'm really needing to buy button dies, but, like, I can look into it. I just have to figure out what all that is. It just threads in and out. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty straightforward. <laughs> That's way too long. All right. Thanks for watching.